Hi and welcome to Silver Linings. I'm Angela and in today's video we are going to talk about Renee of Paris's Anastasia in the color pastel blue right here right now. Welcome to Silver Linings. On this channel I review only silver gray white wigs, hair pieces, toppers, and other times I'll talk about caring for our natural gray hair. Before I get into the review, I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone out there. I hope yours was wonderful. I hope your holidays were blessed. I took a long, much needed break and I'm back now refreshed and ready to jump into the new year with hopefully some information that you'll find extremely valuable. So I'm just going to do the unboxing with you, put her on right in front of you and we'll see how it goes. Whenever I open up a new wig, I take a picture of her, how she looks in the box, so that when I go back to store her, I know how she came. So just take a moment and take a picture. Okay, so now I'm just going to open it up. It says blue pastel, but I'm not seeing a lot of blue, which is fine with me. I wonder what she'll look like in the in the sun. So the wig looks bluer on the monitor than it does in person. Okay, here we go. So you're just gonna put it put your head in just like you're putting a head in a bowl. <laughs> she actually doesn't feel that tight. Now let me just find my hairline. You want to be careful. Don't yank on the on the uh, the front bang area. Just kind of grab where you feel that there's a good amount of hair. And of course she's machine made. She's she's not lace front. Traditional cap. So there's my widow's peak right there. And now I'll find those air tabs on the side. Make sure she's centered properly. The air tabs are very small. You know, actually, I think they do have they do have some metal stays in them. They were hard to feel off the off the head. Okay, so you can see that I haven't done anything to her yet at all. All I'm going to do is make sure keep my hand on the top of the wig, and then I'm going to pull the bottom of the wig down underneath my ponytail or whatever you have back there. If you don't have any hair at all, just make sure she sits underneath your occipital bone, that ridge that's underneath the base of your neck. I know from experience that if I kept this wig on for any length of time at all, and I'm talking even maybe five, ten minutes, it would start to to ride back. Why? Because she is a tiny bit small for me. So to the rescue, my trusty, it stays. I use this pretty much on every wig that I wear. It just makes me feel very secure. So far it hasn't hurt my wigs. Um, it goes on very, very easily. You don't need a lot of it. And when I take the wig off, I just use a little bit of water, just cold water, loosen it from the front of my hairline. And then when I take the wig off, I just take on that same washcloth and wet it again and run it over where the it stays was on the wig and it has not hurt my wigs. Now I know there's a lot of people that don't use anything. I think that they're blessed. I have <laughs> I have to use something or else it's going to ride back. But let's talk a little bit about this wig right now. I tell you what, I'm liking her. I am really I didn't think I was going to like this wig. I mean, I took this out of the box and just put her on my head. And it was fine. And I started to say I didn't think I was going to like this wig at all, but I do very much. So 
So let's talk just for a minute or so about a little bit more about the style. As you can see, it is a short bob. As I've said, it's razored, it's layered, it's very, very fashion forward, as they say, and it is machine made, has the adjustable tabs in the back, and the bangs are, now I, I have not measured them myself, but the bangs are four and a half inches. So four and a half inches, and they look like they're about four and a half inches. You don't have to worry about the hairline or anything like that because those bangs are going to come right down and higher and hide all the edge of that wig. And it weighs 2.68 ounces. I thought that it weighed a little less than three ounces. Very, very comfortable. The nape is three inches from the bottom of that nape, three inches. And the crown down is going to be five and a half. I'm telling you everyone, this is a this is a really this is a really nice little wig to have in your collection. You can just throw her on, go to the store, go to a meeting, go to a party, whatever you're gonna do. You didn't do your hair that day and all of a sudden somebody calls you and you're ready to go. She's truly put her on and go. Okay, so that's basically it for the review of Anastasia in the color blue pastel. She does come in other colors um, since I do silver gray and white wigs. Now, and let me just add to that. At the beginning of my channel, I always say I review silver gray white wigs. I will also add a fashion color like a blue or a pink because even though they're not gray, a lot of us might want to have that just for some fun. And the other thing that I'll do is I will add a wig that's in the quote blonde family if it's got enough white, if it's got enough silver that I feel it's going to present around your face with white or silver, then I'll buy that wig as well or suggest that wig. A case in point would be Shakerado. Love that wig. And I bought Shakerado in the color Roca Margarita Blonde. I would also recommend Coconut Silver Blonde. I'm going to be ordering a wig in that color soon just to show the differences on my channel. So I was hoping to show you uh, Anastasia in full sunlight, but we've had no sunlight here today in New York. In fact, it's raining. It's really, really cold. So I'm doing the best I can to show you in natural light and I'm going to do a very close shot of the crown. And if you look very, very closely in a moment here, you'll see that you can just detect a bit of the blue strands in her hair. So I think in bright sunshine, she would look a lot bluer than she does in a cloudy day. On. Let's take a look at the inside of the cap for Anastasia. And you really can see the blue when you turn her inside out, at least in the monitor. The monitor is picking up the blue, but my, my, to my eye, I don't really see a lot of blue at all. In any case, here we have the open wefted cap. She does have some permatease underneath this lace fabric. Not too much, just a little bit. It's not super heavy, dense, or pillowy at all. It's just a little bit for lift. Again, the open wefting. I have to take care of that. I pulled through some of that hair. It does not have an extended nape here. It's just a short nape. It does have the bra strap type extenders which I will pull all the way out because my head is average to large. And this, this uh, wig is running average. Renee of Paris, on me, fits rather snug, so I'll have to pull those bra-type extenders all the way out. All right, so that's about it. Ear tabs, she does have a little tiny bit of... Hard to detect if she's got the metal stays... Actually, I'm not feeling any metal stays in those ear tabs. I thought I felt one on the other side. No, I don't feel any metal stays. Okay, now remember I told you that I purchased this wig over at Wig Studio One. It was on clearance. I wanted to find a place for you that you could purchase it. But what I'm finding over here on name brand wigs is they do at this 
time of recording, which is January 4th, 2022, they're saying, according to their description, that this is a discontinued item. See that right there? Discontinued item. Why would I show you a discontinued item? Well, first of all, I didn't know it was discontinued when I when I purchased it. It was just simply on clearance. A lot of times something can be on clearance without being discontinued. But if you like this wig, um, they still are showing that it is available in the color, in this color pastel blue. Yes, she still is available in pastel blue at name brand wigs. So, you know, you could click around and if you really love it, pick it up because it is going to be discontinued. And worst case is, at least you can see what Renee of Paris's pastel blue looks like. Before I close, I just wanted to say that on this Thursday, January 6th, 3 o'clock, Eastern Standard Time. I will be going live. Haven't done that in a while, but I will be going live and I'm going to show my nine favorite wigs in my collection. Three of them will be long, three of them will be medium length, and three of them will be short. So I hope that you'll join me there and we'll have a time of chatting and answering some questions, comments, etc. In the meantime, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you so much for visiting my channel, for subscribing. I want to wish everyone a happy, healthy, safe, prosperous in every way new year. I hope that we can all, when we look back on 2021, remember all the silver linings in our lives. And as always, if you like, give it a like, hit that little bell icon and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.